What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the Drift Games vlog and as you can see like we didn't have enough cars we are going to pick up a new car now I'm not going to tell you what car that is and give everything away in the first few minutes but I will say that this car is quite a special car it's a car that's been on Dave's mind for quite a while and one came up in just about the right condition that it made it more justifiable for us to get one You guys already make some bad decisions for Dave on Dave's behalf. Well, Dave was getting jealous of the bad decisions you were making, so yeah, we could do it together now. It's yeah. about it's, it's about to get real intimate right now. Oh yeah! Here we go. So I've got to straddle it. <laughs> Going for fourth gear is going to be quite the. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this show on the road. Oh my handbrake! Here we go. Sorry. Oh, oh. There we oh, go. Yeah. Just about made it, and we have about three hours of this. Three and a half. Three and a half. Without traffic. Yeah, and, and we've got a trailer so it's even slower. Okay. Oh, jeez. No, Craig's got this. And we have the M50. So that, that it's past cool. rush hour, we're fine. Way more eggs in here now. You gonna feed me? I'm, I think I'm on your side. I think I just need to do this. Yeah, this makes, <laughs> this makes it a lot less awkward, actually. <laughs> just own it, you know? I don't I get think this was get a bit uncomfortable. I think it's a bench, I don't think it's a chair. There's Does two it, there's two headrests. It's definitely made for two. It more seems like a, a ratchet ratchet strap point because it doesn't feel like a chair. Oh well. It's what, we're, it's what we're dealing with anyways. Yeah, get, don't put your foot there, that'll come down. Oh, I've fuck. I'm experienced. Yeah. There uh, we go. Yes, sir. There we go. What have, we, have you talked about anything so far? What do no, they know? I've not even said that. Um, Dave's actually, um, he's been ill since the bar. She's um, resting up at home. So we, um, I'm, I'm Dave bought a, we, we bought a much better Dave Egan looking at cars <laughs> than Dave. <laughs> All right, so we're, Dave, Dave has been looking for this car for a while now. He's been talking about it, blah, blah, and the universe aligns. And he got a text message, what, like three nights ago? He, he does this. He it, it doesn't take much, but he has, I would say, <laughs> all jokes aside, like, a year, two years, he's been wanting one of these, yeah, yeah. and yeah, and now you're here, you're kind of the king of impulse buy. I love it. So well, I was gonna say you're the ex technical expert at looking. Yeah, yeah that too, that too. That, that, yeah, exactly. Well, you're Craig too. He's pretty, he's pretty solid. So that's my backup partner right there. So, <laughs> um, all right. So we know roughly what the car is like. We know some of its gremlins. We know the list. But now we have to actually go poke at it and make sure this thing is exactly. Uh, what Dave wants and to make sure it's it's worth it, right? Because things are expensive to fix, parts are expensive to buy, so we gotta find that happy medium of is this worth it. What instructions did Dave give you? Just curious. He just said if you would buy it, buy it. Oh dear. <laughs> well, we got the trailer anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Might as we're, well. We're ready. <laughs> Alright, well before we talk about it, let's check the car out. All right, here it is. This is an R32 sedan. You call them sedans here, right? Sedan. Or we would call it a four-door. A four-door. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. Uh, R32 four-door GTST. Boom. RB20 debt. You're, you're getting the facts on the channel today. Like, okay. If I if I walked up to this, I'd be like, so it's an R32 with ah, oh, that's a beefy kit on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this car obviously is a project. Um, we all love projects sick yeah so i think the story of this car is it it's just unfinished everything is here to put it together but it's good that means we get it cheaper right another man's headache is another man's deal i love that so um do you want to talk about what we learned about the car yeah I, there's so much to talk about okay first uh, <laughs> i'm not sure why i, I didn't understand part. it all right so we found out that this rb20 det was actually rebuilt it's just like a quick oem refresh new rings new bearings just new seals boom Hasn't been ran since though, which is a little terrifying because you don't know who actually put these things together if they know what they're doing. Yeah, this was, I mean, he's 
he said the places where he got the block and where he got it got all the engine bits and built and stuff like that and the, to be fair like we Rest know we, we, we know the people that's so good. that's a good thing all right so fresh rb20 uh it seems like everything around it is pretty standard the radiator is at the market which is nice because oem ones are you know old now but uh engine base standard it's all there you can see there's like a little bit of surface rust all around but it is an old japanese car that's pretty... i've seen much worse oh, than yeah. Yeah. yeah a solid foundation i'll give it a, a, a 6.8 6.8 that's good by your standards maybe a five Oh, why are you taking it down, white? <laughs> uh, front mount, didn't see that before. We've got a front mount chilling. We've got the other pipe in. We know yeah. that for that. Uh, he has a big, juicy front bumper on it, and I guess it's supposed to be a Euro style kit. I'm sure, it looks like it. I don't think it's BN. Yours is more like harsh and skirty. But he said he bought it in Belfast, so he's not really sure what the heck it is. But I want to say it's genuine. <laughs> no, I want to say so. So I guess um, these came off of. Craig's uncle's car. This came off David's old RC table. Before he had the RC table. Something like that. It's like small country. Small world. Happens all the time. Uh, besides that, I mean, the car needs a paint job. That's what sucks. But what's nice about that is it kind of lets you pick the transformation, right? For yeah, I, I think that's a good thing. As long as. Like, it no, it, we know it needs, needs a paint job, so it's not as if you're getting something that looks kind of good, but then later down you find that it's not, so you're kind of buying it, you, you get the money off. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's an honest car. That's what I like about that. I always say it's honest. It hasn't been, it hasn't been painted. You don't know what's under the paint, you know, if there's Bondo under there, this, this, and this, but it's factory paint. What you see is what you get, which is really nice. Uh, there's some surface rust here and there, which is just typical old JDM stuff where you just kind of get... Yeah. Would you be scared of by... So what I would look for is like the bubbling, like the like the more rot than rust, like especially on the edges of windows, it gets really scary because on the other side there's a yeah. So it gets really scary on windows because especially if like a windshield has been replaced, the glass guys will like scratch it underneath and then it'll start to rust and then all of a sudden you take the glass out and there's just a hole there. So like when you see stuff like this, you gotta be really, really, really wary. Um, this, you could tell it doesn't, it's not rot. This is more just like surface rust, sand it down. But besides that, the only thing that's a little scary is you could tell this car has been kind of rusty. Right, Craig, you noticed that too? Yeah. It's got the good old fashioned JDM spray down where they take a can of black undercoating and just cover all of it. But Oh, all the underneath has had the undercoat. Yeah, let me stick my phone out. It's all black and nice. And you're like, oh, oh, so it man. looks fresh. It does look fresh, but then you could tell that it's been patched. Like there's a patch here. Um, and you could tell on the subframe that the subframe was a little rusty, but um, I don't see any rot, which is nice. It's nothing that you can't kind of like scuff and spray over. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. Luckily, Dave's head will probably never be underneath there, so. No, I think, <laughs> I think it'd be worrying if it is. <laughs> eh, Wayne can deal with it. These cars are getting old, so I think my like expectations for them is getting, is just dropping. So like five years ago, I would be like, ah, oh, this thing's a little rough, but today I'm like, oh, it's a nice car. Yeah, expectations have definitely been lost for these cars, and like, like you say, this how old? Thirty years old? For, yeah, she's like, old, she's an old girl, she's an old girl. But it's straight. It's actually a really straight car. Like, if you look, it's not super dull or dinged up. Like, yeah. honestly, it just needs a good sanding, and it's ready to go. There is um, something else that is included in the purchase of this yes. car. Dave, Dave Swindle. Yeah, I, I, I think this is the real reason yeah, right. why he wanted this car. <laughs> Boof! Blitz O threes, babies. I don't think they're going on the car. They're probably just going to hang up on this wall. <laughs> they're, they're, they're safer there. They're safer there, yeah. So we have, uh, I thought they were 18s, but I guess they're 17s, but that's still cool. 17-inch uh, blitz faces are all really good condition. Yeah, we got the barrels. Yeah, I think they're all, what are they, probably, I don't even know the specs, but you, you always rebuild them anyways. I don't know, they got, they got dish. The faces look like they're fresh and good to go, which is really nice. You buy some hardware, bolt them together. Oh, we have all the trim, which is really nice because it sucks trying to piece these interiors together anymore because like it's so hard to get stuff. So it's all there. All there. We just need to piece it, piece it together bit by bit. Yeah, Dave's got a guy for that. Dave is not the guy for that, <laughs> but he's, he's got a guy. Look at look, those seats look like the comfiest seat I've ever seen in my life. You know what? Was, they're so retro, they've come back into fashion. Look at the bolster on it. That thing's a straight bucket seat. That is, that is. Right? You know what, and like the carpet's in good condition. The interior's in yeah. really good condition. It's got like the GTR little gauges in the center. It's cool, it's it's a nice interior. The good thing is it's probably been down for a long time, which kept the interior nice. So it's not what's, too bad. So what's, so what's the verdict? We pretty much agreed yeah. to this right it's now. It's a little rusty, but it's not rotted. 
one bad owner away from going into the grave, so hopefully Dave's a good owner. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we've committed to it. <laughs> Yeah, Craig's already low-balled him, so I think we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, we're spending your money. Yeah. Nice work. Congratulations, I spent, I spent bud. Well, <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Dave. You bought a car. <laughs> <laughs>definitely looks a lot nicer inside the shed but it's good right so the goal here is you want to get a car that looks rough enough that you get it for a decent price but not too far gone that uh you can't repair right so this is a really good example so of this that. is rough enough yeah it is and i mean then it, with the it probably looks yeah it done no it didn't did work no 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 come on come on <laughs> but no it's good it, i i feel like it looks a lot worse than it is and like the missing parts, but the parts are coming off to get painted anyway, so yeah. we're actually ahead of the curve. So he did, he did us a favor. Yeah, the, we, you'd actually pay someone to do that. Yeah, wild. <laughs> the van is Craig saying that we need a bigger van, and um, we do need a bigger van. I, I don't think he's fun. far from the truth. So on the way home, we're going past Richard Bradley's. You guys may already know who that is, but Jimmy has never been there, and um, some pretty cool cars, Dino. It's all up your street. I'm excited. Let's go. And hopefully, we get this thing with Dino by the end of the day. <laughs> So we are down here at Richard Bradley's and usually you may get a little bit of a uneducational walkthrough of the cars but we have Jimmy here this time so I mean this place is fully stacked as you can see from even here and um, I think he's going to know all the super rare stuff and little, little bits and bobs that you guys will be quite interested in. Um, unload your knowledge. Oh, wow, there's just so much cool stuff, dude. It's like we were just talking about first off, like, why are there so many JDM cars in Ireland? It's mad. Like, you think you've seen a lot of them, and then there's just another shed with more. <laughs> <laughs> Never ends. But this thing is absolutely beautiful because one, like, the biggest thing I see is one, it's immaculate, but two, it's a Series 3. You don't see Series 3 very often. And I just love it because they have like the red underlays in the interior. Like usually it's purple, but you see in the seats how it's red and it has the red inside. And you'll get a lot of Series 3 seats like swapped in other things. You'll just get the seats, but this has like, of course, it is a true Series 3, so it has a magic door card. Would this be like seat. super rare? No, it's just like the last couple years of it. And um, they're just like, not as common. They probably didn't sell as much or something. I feel like the last couple production years of any car is always like the least amount of sellers. So 34 sedans everywhere. Those we don't are, yeah. we don't get there those yet so like it's still weird to see them you know oh that's right but you can't register cars 25 25 yeah so they're just coming legal so like the first set of legal ones are going to start coming in like in just a few months those there's, there's, they're, they're in the states but not that common bit sneaky sneaky and we didn't get the euro <coughs> rear bumper so seeing the euro bumpers is pretty cool it might like i that's, can't that's uk spec UK yeah spec. i don't know if i if they're ugly or not it's just cool because it's different I think it's ugly, but I also think it's cool because I don't get them. I think that because I like the Jap style, and then I think the UK is kind of like the cheaper looking one. But then again, if you don't get them, then you may think that that's the yeah, cool it's cool. Stuff. Yeah, you know, it's always, every the cool stuff is always what you can't get, right? Like yeah, you always want to exactly. trade stuff. So. And Jimmy's favorite Ganadors real. Are they carbon? Are they? Yeah, so it's like a. 
they had like an option where they're like, they look like they're like hydro dipped or something. Oh, this S14 is so pretty. Full navin on it. Just a good proper, proper look. Oh, then like the casual spec R, just chilling. I think they're giving it, is Limited. it a popcorn limiter? Is that a popcorn limiter? <laughs> Should we go assess the popcorn limiter? <laughs> Popcorn. This is what you keep talking about, huh? Like, it doesn't get more, more Irish than that, does it? No, that, that, that is Irish spec. <laughs> okay. Don't get that in the States. <laughs> Do the popcorn! Different. Well, different. <laughs> Well, that was much. I can smell it from here. <laughs> you smell it? <laughs> and this is the graveyard. Can you just zoom in real aggressively and put a sad song over the S14? The violin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these cars. These are Abisu cars, I think. So they've served their time. Such a shame. I know that they got used and abused. It's a no, good I thing. They were, they... Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. Smile for a dollar. It's, be it's better than just rotting in a yard somewhere and not getting used. Or a stubborn <laughs> Irish lad having it in a shed, he won't tell anyone about it. <laughs> that is the truth. <laughs> Anything good? A couple mufflers, you know? Quick, Rich is coming. Oh. Don't say nothing. Nope. <laughs> Act normal. So we've gone into now Richard's personal, personal collection. collection. When, when the cars are inside, you know they're really special. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just can't get over it. This is a factory color on this thing. Not only is the car immaculate, but this is a factory color, and I want to know what Have you never seen this? No, it kind of looks like Starfire Blue, but it looks more purple. Yeah. And you get the little, the little UK spec, the little headlight squirters, right? Is that what that is? It's a squirter. <laughs> Look at this perfect example of a cookie. Oh, tucked away no there. sunroof. It's un, unsullied. You know it's a good S14 when the door doesn't sag. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's just trusty good phone the, light. Just good for the soul. It is Starfire Blue. Huh. It just looks different in here? No, it, it looks more purple in here because it's just like actually nice paint because usually when you see them, yeah. they're old and faded and it's like, this is not... That's not crazy. It. It's like one of the rarest USDM colors. I don't know about the UK, but definitely one of the US... One of the rare... I think there's like... I can't, I'm not gonna say numbers, I'll probably be wrong, but it's very rare. <laughs> so, car picked up, saw some cars. Looks nice when it's dark out. <laughs> it's always blended into the black. <laughs> a lot of cool stuff here, that was a fun pit stop, I wasn't ready for it. You warned me, but, oh, the puppy. Uh, but I wasn't expecting it to be this cool. So, the R32, what do we do with it? Leave, as, as I say, you guys, leave a, leave a comment in the comment section. Paint it, slam it. Big turbo, road Pop car, drift limiter. car, not I don't, car. <laughs> I don't really know. We, it's kind of bought for our purpose. The and the blitz you could put in the uh, in the new space on the wall. You know. Why? Why would you like an Irish person with a nice car put in the shed? They need to be on the car. Oh, just the wheels. Yeah, whatever. Dave what? will drive this around. Actually, Dave's gonna say this will be his road car, his daily driver. He's gonna make it. He's gonna put it over the top, and then he'll probably probably sell it. We're not selling cars this year. This is the years we're building up cars and not selling. Yes, hoard it all. Be toxic. I love it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It'll be cool. I'm excited. We'll buy on our channel for a little while, Irish yeah. Jim. It'll be a while. It'll be a while. You guys should come visit before the LZ Fest. Well, we may come to the States. That sounds like a much nicer thing because it's not going to be, well, no just gray and just gray. unsaturated <laughs> looking footage from now on. I'm putting this on you, Josh. This is on your back. Go and sign up the video. How do you guys end it? See you in the next one. All right. <laughs> See you guys in the next one.